That is really exciting to hear, Richard. Um, but um, if we think about the radar absorbing uh, properties, so we can make very, very thin coatings or very thin films or soak our materials into in, into fabrics and the radar energy coming in and hitting hitting that system is absorbed and dissipated at heat throughout the coating or the, the, the fabric, etc. So less energy being reflected reflected back to source. So we've worked on that technology um, uh, with the department, with the US Army um, for uh, I think seven, seven years now. And that has, you know, applications, if you like, um, on UAVs, on uh, large shelters, on anything that you really want to hide from radar um, and particular areas that we are interested in the moment, I keep saying it, UAVs, drones in general, um, missiles and, uh, and, and shelters, you know, things that we want to really be able to hide from radar. So we're able to um, actively control the reflectivity or thermal emissivity of our coatings so that, you know, a tank that is um, being um, quite easily um, identified or tracked at the moment on the battlefield and obviously Russia's war against Ukraine has, has taught us this, that these, um, you know, hundreds of millions or, you know, multi-million pound um, uh, um, combat vehicles can be targeted by cheap drones and, and you know, and, and, and in some cases destroyed um, by those um, cheap drones. So if we're able to um, help those systems blend into the background or obfuscate to defeat these um, sensor systems and, uh, and algorithms that are being used to hunt, um, then we can um, protect the warfighter um, and enable the platform to get to uh, to do its job um, efficiently. That is really exciting to hear, Richard.